All right, guys, and welcome back to episode five, part three. So we're continuing on, and we have no fireworks. Damn. All right, guys, let's do this. Fireworks. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? This one should give me a blue star shape. Very cool. <laughs> Ivor? Shh. I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And, um, apparently long-lasting. Stunned speechless, I know. It is very effective. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Sugar cane. Ooh, sugar cane. Town has improved from the moment I ascended as your leader. The sky is brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Hope this isn't stupid. Gunpowder! Perfect! Hey, you hearing this doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to ha happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. Okay, let's get crafting. Yeah, let's do it. All right, um, paper. Now there's a firework. Nice. Now 
just need to- Hey, Glenn, I- Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't- <laughs> Huh? Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. <sighs> Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves. And we can't let anyone get in our way. Nice one, Binta. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse. For everything. Okay, strapped in. Fireworks ready. Jesse, we want to talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. I'm glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. You should at least, you know, take out the water. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> trappish.
Uh, hey guys. What's going on? Stand down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That, that's enough. Oops, S sorry. Oh man, I am loving that you brought the Ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse. It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion against you. No, hang on, everyone. No, it's our turn to talk, not yours, not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, but... Because the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas! So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. Uh, it wasn't me that locked you all up. It was the admin. Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did, that... That wasn't really you. Okay. Yeah. It's you. <laughs> well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a... a... word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. <laughs> you just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Shield of Infinity, engaged. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Ho! Oh, I've got this. Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like why hello there wasn't expecting you oh crud what's the move here jesse maybe you are confused but this is my office hang on let me try and reason with him oh uh, hello jesse it's over admin we're here to excuse me excuse me we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Ugh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. Guess it was just a temporary case of death? Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant! What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. 
I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh. Talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... I want to talk because I know there's still good in you, Romeo. And I think that if we talk this out, maybe we can come to an understanding. You... you really think that? Yeah. I know I was all fiery and mad when you first showed up, but it's just as well. Blimey! I had no idea being you was going to be this difficult! Wait, what? Oh, yeah! I mean, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted! The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time. Ugh, it's insufferable! I need iron blocks! I'm out of bricks. I don't want to be surrounded by lava! Well, I'm back now. I could help you. Take back over? Yeah! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. What's your angle here? This is a trick, right? Nope. No tricks, no angles, no games. Just good old Romeo telling it like it is. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah. The, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe... maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Romeo, please. Give this world another chance. One more chance. <coughs> Could. Would love to. But won't. Shan't. This way is easier for me. Oh well, toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. You guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew. Such a jerk. Look. Take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up.
in the blind yard. We made it. We're here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Good point. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kind of hard to make sense of it all. Hashtag potato four five one. It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like an automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? All right. Till the next one. All right, guys. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. All right? All right. And until the next time, bye-bye.